Hi, my name's Lindy and welcome to my channel. The first video that I'm going to be doing today, I'm not going to uh, give you the title for for a moment, simply because if you followed my channel for a while over the last six years, you will know that it is instinctively uh, heart channeled, shall we say. And uh, often I will have a vague idea of a title when I start, but by the end of it, I've uh, you know tweaked the title and it's slightly different to what I said. So I'm going to work slightly differently and not give you the titles of the videos up front. Uh, so I'm going to just launch straight in. Before I do, I hope you're all coping well with the really interesting times of change that we find ourselves at the beginning of on planet earth so with that being said i'm going to leap in now and i can tell you that in the title there will be something to do with the yellow brick road now if you are familiar with the story and the film of the wizard of oz you will know that there is was in that a yellow brick road and Dorothy was following the yellow brick road to the Emerald City and it was she had to follow that for a sequence of different things happening. So why I'm saying yellow brick road is in the uh, sessions I've been doing really over the last month, I've been very much aware of the actual energy fabrication, weaving it together of the primary i'm going to call it primary timeline that is here now with earth or gaia at the heart of the heart timeline and i've been nicknaming that timeline the yellow brick road just like the yellow brick road in the wizard of oz and that each person that has effectively on a soul or spirit essence level signed up for within themselves walking and being part of the fabric of the yellow brick road timeline so not just walking it but actually being the embodiment of it so let's say it's an external creationary reality but it's an internal creationary reality every person that's decided to be one of those bricks in the yellow brick road to embody that timeline to walk that timeline actually to be that timeline is contributing to the actual path if you like and the curves that that timeline takes not only contributing to it but it's a bit like that you, they you have in your hands a handful of seeds that as you are walking that creationary yellow brick road timeline within yourselves internally and externally this handful of seeds of creation or germination uh, you are able to sprinkle as you are walking that timeline and actually see the flowers this is all metaphorically speaking the flowers uh, let's say the Garden of Eden, let's say the creation of the world and earth you wish to participate in creating form. So it's not just that the yellow brick road timeline is here and it's real and it is a time so timeline that is all of the now and in the now moment. It's a uh, generational field uh, that is all of the now and this moment that's how this energy runs but it's not just a question of, of walking along it this is all happening in your heart and in your consciousness you are actually part of the fabric of that yellow brick road but you are being invited within yourselves to create the Garden of Eden, create the reality, create 
what you wish to create along that road. So picture yourself walking along rather like, you know, the film The Wizard of Oz, The Yellow Brick Road, with a, a little basket full of seeds. These are all metaphors, metaphorically speaking, that you're sprinkling either side and then seeing beautiful things form. So it is very interesting because you're part of that timeline and reality once you switch over to a certain level of consciousness in your heart and of course as you create from there there will be as time goes on little offshoots from the yellow brick road I'm not going to say diversions but unique expressions further expressions of that timeline rather like a, a flower. I keep using these metaphors and being drawn to use these metaphors, a flower that then goes into multiple fans out, it fans out into different directions. But at the moment, this video is concerned with that primary timeline. So in other words, what I'm saying is being on that timeline and of the yellow brick road timeline is one thing, but then you're being invited to create on that timeline and use that heart energy of yours and that heart consciousness of yours to create what you want to create. Now, I've said this many times before, some of you will say, well, I'm not sure what I want to create. It's like being given the keys to a car and not being sure how to drive or not knowing how to drive yet. So I offer a channel, uh, an exhibition, and you can actually, if you're not sure of the ingredients you want to put in into your yellow brick road and the surroundings around it, you can just start playing with the heart energy in the ball of creation. So how you would do that, it always goes on feelings, not really thought, but feeling. It's not analytical. So you would go into the most pleasurable, wonderful, childlike, innocent joyful feeling, first picnic, first time seeing the sea, first time on the beach, uh, really excited about Christmas, you know, I'm just giving examples. If you have a background or childhood where it's very hard to access real, happy, joyful childlike memories, you can actually use the amazing tool that is your brain to uh, fabricate such a memory because you're neural pathways or your consciousness mind body spirit soul respond the same way as if it were a real memory so you can invent a happy wonderful childlike memory if you don't have access to one uh, as soon as you hit the nail on the head meaning you're sitting there with your eyes closed hand over heart and you've got a big smile on your face because it it feels so wonderful and it's, it's very all the feelings so childlike feelings you then send that joy, childlike innocence, childlike joy to your personal ball of creation. So I often see it like um, the Indiana Jones films. I can't remember which one it is, but the one with the big boulder thing that keeps rolling towards them. I often see it like that. I see a big ball of creation. I mean, why start small if you can if you can start big? Hey, but that's me. So you have this big ball of creation and you direct your heart energy or your joyful energy to the ball of creation and as as it kind of powers up your own unique ball of creation which is all part of this overall larger Gaia timeline you then tip um, little ingredients into it so say for example you are hoping for a huge change in career or a huge change in your love life a huge change in connection um, a huge change in finances, a huge change in where you live, or one of the above, two of the above, all of the above. All you do is you, with the childlike, joyful feeling, keep coming back to that, don't lose that, and then go analytical. You just aim that towards your ball of creation, and then you chuck these ingredients in. So, say for example, new home, you, as you put that into your ball of creation, you, you from the childlike, joyful feeling, coming back to that, you can feel that childlike joyful feeling already in your new home. Don't get sp too specific on it and say the home's got to have this, this, this and this. Otherwise you'll drop your frequency. 
go into it's wonderful um it's near the sea the breeze is blowing it's got i can feel i'm standing in the garden just you know just go with feelings feelings keep hauling yourself back into the heart and the feeling you can do this with anything and everything um you can't misuse this energy because you're coming from that childlike joyful purity uh so it's the energy of creation octave higher than manifestation you can do it with, um, like I say, meeting somebody. You could um, do it with, again, childlike, joyful feeling around someone that's such a beautiful being that's coming from the heart that you are an absolute wonderful connection with. And four, don't get too detailed, specific. Just go with the real, let's say, important. But keep coming back to that child, childlike, joyful feeling. Keep aiming it into your ball of creation. And then you're getting used to using your heart energy and the ball of creation and forming what you want to form because you are already part. If you're in the quantum heart, if you're on a journey towards the heart, if you're on that journey to ascension, if you're opening up in that area, you're already kind of part of that overall earth timeline, that, that kind of magical yellow brick road one, really. Um, all you're doing is practicing using your heart to create within it you know to create the reality that you want and create the outcomes that you want so it's very very interesting and you can get used to practicing that ball of creation personally while you're getting used to it, i practice with that ball of creation you know you could do it for 10 minutes every day or you could do it for five minutes every day or you could do it once or twice a week or once a week or two or three times a week you know whatever fits into your lives but it's getting used to um running your energy shall we say in that way from the heart upwards not from the head downwards and keep calling yourself into that childlike joy so that yellow brick road i'm nicknaming it um it's really very much again concerned with creation and creating your reality but it's also representative of the way that consciousness is now being able to be run for millions of people on the planet. And, it's, and it will end up being billions of people on the planet, but we're not there yet, millions of people on the planet, which means that it is a, a state of consciousness that is all about the moment, all about now, um, literally being in the now and being in the moment, but being invited to start playing with the energy of creation to form the outcomes and realities of your, let's say, your unique timelines that span from the overall yellow brick road timeline, the big earth, earth quantum heart timeline, but also you're being invited to do this because you are a brick in the yellow brick road one so everybody that is creating their individual expressions of timeline consciousness within the fab the the fabric of the yellow brick road timeline also contribute to holding that fabric of that timeline together that timeline that was already here and solid it can't go anywhere but everybody that's creating within it it kind of I guess it expands it really. Um, it, it's like a blank canvas that you're being invited um, to create upon. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to keep this a short video because I'm going to go straight on to another short video and then straight on to a third video that I'm recording specifically for my patrons. So on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. And uh, if you stick with me and go on to the next video, I will see you again shortly. Bye.